S.J. Patterson with the uh, Water Nugget Enemy. Look up the meaning of the title, please. Uh, I'm going to cover the horn sections there, pretty much in octave unisons uh, throughout. We have a little bit of an interesting coda, and uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, how many of you know what a piccadilly third is, but basically in... Uh, Baroque times, uh, you were not really allowed to end a piece of music on a minor chord because it sort of meant that the devil triumphed. So they usually had songs in minor and then as the very last chord they resolved it to a third, which is what Fella does in this one. We'll get to it. Uh, the first section, a little difficult on uh, tenor sax, you have the low C. Uh, let me see if I can... Uh, here we got the tenor score and to hit this straight off is not so easy the tenuto in 16 notes again not so easy but it sounds beautiful I'll play let me go back to the full score uh, the intro again uh, which I covered a little bit before like I said there's probably more than one way of writing this out rhythmically and I'm not a big fan. This is a mistake, basically. I forgot to uh, cut this note off with the beaming because the beaming really, if you see this, you will be really messed up as a musician unless you have a cut right here. So I'm going to put this cut in here. Uh, I have my uh, keypad off screen so you can't see what I'm actually doing but this looks better I'm gonna hit save uh, here's the intro again that goes on for a while it's just beautiful uh, when we get into the actual song the melody of a jazz piece is called the head, and uh, this is the head of Water No Get Enemy. <laughs> It's just in a, a great melody, great rhythm, but it's just in, you know, triple octave unison. Sounds fantastic. Uh, in the solo sections, this is the section that I basically covered in the last tutorial. It's what goes on when they play solos and when they sing and all those different things. And halfway through the solos, usually Fella writes uh, a counter line to the solos. And this one is particularly great. Uh, I'm going to play it right here. I call this the C section. This is basically, again, once the soloist plays a certain number of bar, I assume that Fella just gave a cue for the rhythm horn section to come in and play this. <laughs> Works 
amazing. The soloist usually then plays around that a little bit, takes a break when that happens and plays notes in between. He never really did have amazing soloists in his band and himself as a sax player his intonation leaves a lot to be desired although his intonation as a singer is really actually amazing uh, but it's part of the charm it's pretty much you know pentatonic uh, riffing a little bit out of tune but uh, infectious not the main centerpiece and it would not really have worked very well if he would have had mind-blowing soloists over this what I have here on the D section let me see here uh, what I actually did here the song ends with the head and then it has this tag and if you're a musician and you don't know what a tag is you probably have not done a lot of gigs uh, tags usually when you repeat the last four bars of a song over and over again uh, usually three times and in this case what I have written here this is in red because for some reason this program when you drag a trill line in this case it's a snare roll over the line it turns red I don't know why but what happens here is that with the change of this note here to uh, an E major you ending up in E major the fact that uh, his horn sections usually had a couple of uh, trumpets, a couple of baritones, a couple of so. So, if you only play with three horns, it's hard to do this. But a big part of the sound is this uh, third sound in the low octave of the baritone. So, uh, if you have a three piece, I'm not quite sure what to suggest whether to play the C or the E, but and which is, by the way, concert score because uh, the baritone by itself. As you can see here is in B flat and that's the ending of it let me go back to the full score and I will play from uh, the return of the head to the tag and I shortened the tag as well so if you're gonna play this uh, listen to the original That, that that really totally caught me by surprise first time I heard it and uh, the fact that the trumpet plays through or holds out is uh, actually here like a long tie even though this break is really cool and uh, the roll is great and this little bluesy riff is also very kind of unfella in a way you know turning the song into putting a dominant at the end uh, but that's what he chose to do for this great song, Water No Get Enemy. Uh, I'm gonna scroll out. I, I like seeing the full scores like covering pages and pages and pages of music like that. It's cool. And it's hard to believe I sit around and write this out for no reason at all, but check out Fella learn to play his music enjoy his music continue his struggle if you're watching this and you're a republican conservative american exceptionalism type of person uh, i don't know what to advise you but you're on the wrong path go the pella the fella path the original first black president thanks for tuning in and uh, I might be back I probably will but uh, it's a lot of work so hope you enjoy it